Walk, our weekly journey that follows Jesus into our ordinary humanity. I'm glad that you are joining us today, uh, whether you are watching online or whether you are listening. Um, I invite you to find a space as usual to sit and be comfortable and to use this next 15 minutes or so to be a space of reflection and connection with God for you, a space that you can just set aside to just be and to listen and to enjoy and to be filled to go about the rest of your day and week. As usual, I invite you to bring a candle or a glass of, and a glass of water with you if you're able to. If not, that's okay. Um, you'll be able to still follow along with our Litany of the Holy Space. And as usual, we start our time off with song to center ourselves. Now I invite you to close your eyes and breathe deep. Slow down and look at the ground beneath you. This is holy space. Take the water and make, dip your fingers in it and make the sign of the cross on your forehead. And hear these words. You are a child of God, beloved. Breathe deep. Slow down. This is holy space. Look at the candle and watch the flame rise up and disappear. Imagine your worries of the past, present, and future burning off like the flame. Let them go and release them. Breathe deep. Slow down. This is holy space. Feel your heart burning within you. What is God saying? What is God taking? What is God revealing?
Breathe deep. Slow down. This is holy space. It has not suddenly become holy, but you have just become aware of its holiness. This space is holy space. Breathe deep. Slow down. This is holy space. Our reading today comes from the book of Genesis, the first chapter, verse 31. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Right now in our world, it may be difficult to find pleasure or joy in your daily life. Our media is flooded with bad news. We have the pandemic that continues to change our daily lives. We have protests and violence in the streets. We have divisive politics with anger and hate. It may feel like we're in the middle of chaos, surrounded with fear and anxiety. And the thought of enjoying something or finding pleasure in something may seem like a distant dream or may even cause feelings of guilt in you right now. But finding things to, to enjoy Pausing to take pleasure in something is a spiritual practice that is at the core of our relationship with God. In the Genesis reading, I only read a single verse from the first creation story where God looks back over God's creation and takes pleasure in all of it, saying, it is very good. If I had read the full story, you might know we would have heard this, these words repeated six times. Each day, God pauses after creating and takes pleasure and joy in God's creation, calling it good. G.K. Ch uh, Chesterton sees a childlike wonder in God. Like a child, God takes great joy in seeing things over and over. How often do we hear children say, do it again, do it again, as they find joy in whatever it is. Chesterson sees God like this, saying, do it again to the sun rising each day. Do it again as the moon rises each day. This joy, like a child that God has for creation. It might sound silly to have a spiritual practice of joy or pleasure because our consumeristic culture has trained us that constant hard work will give us success and success will lead us to happiness. We have to earn pleasure and enjoyment from our hard work. But the God revealed to us in scripture and in the gospels doesn't see pleasure and enjoyment as a reward, but as part of what it is to be a created being and ways of connecting with God. When we enjoy God's creation, we reflect God. Simple acts of drinking tea, enjoying coffee on your deck on a nice morning, going for a walk, listening to music, even watching TV. These are moments of pleasure and enjoyment that can become sacred time for us as we enjoy what it means to be created by God and enjoy God's creation. When our pleasures connect to the wonder of creation, we begin to see God's fingerprints all over it. Paintings, movies, mountains, beaches, and even beer have been formed and created through God and God's extravagant people. So this week, I wonder what are the things that you find joy and pleasure in? And I invite you to take some time every day this week 
to enjoy a few moments of those things, whatever they may be. Don't feel guilty about it. Instead, seek out God's presence in those moments. How is God showing up? How are you interacting with God's wonder in creation? And just enjoy that time. Amen. And now we sing a song that is a little bit on the older side, and it's going to be a slightly different way of doing it. It's called God of Wonders. Lord of all creation Water, earth, and sky. Heavens are your tabernacles. Glory to the Lord on high. God of wonders beyond our galaxies. You are holy, holy. The universe. See?